I've been invited to deliver my personal branding workshop to a group of leaders in Accra and I'm going to take you with me because I'm excited. It's my very first workshop in Ghana and I figured it would be fun to show you behind the scenes of how I prepare, what I do to get my energy right and all of those things. So let's go. I've been sat on my laptop and just using my suitcase as a prop. It's just better than sitting at the desk where the lighting isn't as good. Hello. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is talk you through my framework. And this is what I've been teaching globally. And I think it's really transformative. One thing that I think is really, really important is that we focus on um, the need and equip them with the skills to really elevate themselves. I just wanted to say as well, for women who are wanting to do like corporate talks and workshops, the value that you bring to the marketplace is what you should be charging for. It's not necessarily about your time, it's about the transformation. And there are two very, very different price points, right? Especially if you're working for billion dollar companies that have training budgets in place. And I've often spoken to companies who want to pay me a pittance, but they want 20 years of my life's work in exchange for hardly a meal, hardly a value meal, right? So it's super important that we as women recognize the work and the value that we bring before anyone else will, because if you don't value yourself, it's unlikely that anyone else will. And I just wanted to say that because I have so many conversations with women who just aren't charging enough for the work that they do. And obviously that's based on the client that you're working with and the problem that you're solving, but super, super important to remember that you're doing great work and no one will recognize that until you do. So yes. They've sent a car to come and collect me, which is always nice because when I first met with this team, I ended up getting lost. It was my second night in Accra and I got really lost. So I think they just think I'm um, geographically challenged at this point. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just leaving the apartment now. There's my lovely friend, Iola, sat there. She's gonna be helping me today. So yeah, it'll be fun. Iola, are you ready? Let's go. I think he's outside. Okay, so here's the car that they've sent to collect me, which is really nice of them. So yeah, let's go. Hi, good morning. Good morning, mother. Thank you so much for collecting us. Okay, so I'm on route to my client's office now. I'm really, really excited. This is my very first workshop in Ghana. Hopefully the first of many across the continent, in fact. Um, but yeah, like what an incredible opportunity. So typically before I deliver any talk, the main thing that I focus on is just getting into that zone, setting my energy, clearing my energy so that I could just really deliver at a high level because I don't take the fact that people actually listen to me for granted. First thing that I do is really just think about what my word is. I set an intention. So this morning I woke up thinking that I want to leave these ladies feeling empowered and inspired. The theme is all about investing in women. So this is definitely something that I'm brought into. And then the second thing that I do is clear my energy. So I do EFT tapping, tapping on all of the meridian points to clear anything that may be keeping me blocked, keeping me stuck. And that's what I'm going to do. And then after that, I then ground my energy so that I'm really grounded and that my energy field isn't like, you know, twirling around all over the place. I have to be grounded. Um, and that's really the main thing because without doing that, I can kind of just, um, just spiral. That's what I'm going to do now. 
first of all I make sure that my feet are grounded right now I'm in a car so my feet are on the floor uh, in the car and I also take some deep breaths in take some deep breaths out and then I connect with my body and think about where I'm feeling any heaviness right now I can feel a little bit of heaviness in my stomach so I want to clear that right I don't want to go in there with a heavy stomach tap on my heart center tap on my karate chop point and then I tap on like the top of my head side of the eyes I'm doing this really really quickly it's a longer process but I just want to quickly show you how powerful it is when you say the statement so even though I've been feeling really frustrated this morning things haven't been going well I'm ready to let that go. Let this go now. And typically, even just tapping on the heart, I feel the energy shift through me, which is really powerful. It's no longer stuck there. It's no longer trapped. And that's just a really, really, really powerful way to shift. So we've checked into reception. We've been given these snazzy reflectors to wear. Thank you. Okay, so we just we just got here to the venue and here we go so just to recap i shared five p's with you we've gone through them quite quickly performance was about working on your limiting beliefs your limiting stories pitching yourself you worked on your elevator pitch where i encourage you to put yourself forward more and tell your story presence we looked at the importance of speaking up more <coughs> and developing your executive presence and then I also showed you what to include on your LinkedIn page so that it's up to date and that it isn't just a ghost. And then we mm -hmm. didn't have time, but partnering whereby I encourage you, well, I do encourage you to build your network and don't just leave it to chance. Don't just network with your immediate manager because what happens if they leave the company? Who else knows about the impact you're making? And then finally, I encourage you to have a visibility plan for yourself. So write down your visibility goals in your journal. Be very intentional about working on your visibility and not just in your job. I want to just thank you all for being here today for all of your valuable contributions in the mm -hmm. room. For those of you on Zoom as well, thank you all very much for being here. And yeah, um, thank you everyone. Thanks so much. Is this the yam? Yeah. And the planting? Okay. So, so right now we're just chowing down on some food. There's not actually much left, but so good. It's a lot of spice. I love my spice. It's gone right down.